In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up and program this one for all Essential 8 remote control. I'm going to show you several different ways to get your remote programmed and some other tips and tricks as well. I'm going to make it real easy for you. This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if you found it helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Just wanted to quickly mention these colored buttons right here. These can be programmed for a favorite channel macro. They can also be taught missing functions from your factory remote, which to me is the more useful function. Um, I'll be covering reprogramming these later on in the video when I show how to teach the remote. Okay, also wanted to mention these three app shortcut keys right here. Now, if they don't happen to access your apps right out of the gate, you have two other choices. You can either program a macro sequence or use your original remote to teach these directly. I'll briefly cover this a little later. Now, there are three different ways that you can program this remote the simple set, the direct code entry, and the learning method. Okay, let's start with simple set. So simple set gives a one digit code for the most popular brands. Also, if you're using a streaming device or something with no power function like an Apple TV, make sure that you have something playing because instead of sending out a power code, it'll send out a play pause code. Okay, so in this example, I'm gonna be setting up a sharp TV You'll want to start with your device turned on. Okay, press the device that you're working with. So TV in my example, okay. Press and hold setup until the light blinks twice. All right. Now, hold down the number code for your brand. Mine is a sharp, so it's six, okay. You want to keep holding that down if you notice the TV light flashed, all right. There it goes again. Now I already know that the third code on this, which it just hit, worked my power, turned off the TV, but none of the menu functions would work, okay? So what I have to do is keep going until it responds again, all right? All right, there it goes. That's the sixth code. I know that one worked. So some codes will only partially work, if your first code doesn't work very well, then do this again, just like I just showed you. And this time, pass the first code that you know, because you saw it turn off, but wait until the TV turns back on or your device, and then test the code again. Then you can see if the rest of your functionality works, like input, menu, volume, whatever. And as soon as your device responds, let go of the number that you're pressing, like I showed you there, so that it will store the code. Okay, you can do this very same thing with any of the other device buttons if you have one of the simple set device brands. Next is gonna be the direct code entry. Now this is gonna cover a much larger pool of brand names. The code list is gonna be in the manual, which I'll link below if you've lost your list. Okay, start with your device turned on as usual. Press the device key that you're working with. I'm still working with a sharp TV, so press TV. Now press and hold setup until the LED blinks twice. There it went. Now enter the first four digit code for your brand. So mine is two, three, six, zero. All right, notice we flashed twice on the uh, TV LED. All right, so now you're gonna wanna press power to go through the functions like menu, input, volume, etc. It so happens that the first code for me is working good on my TV. But if yours isn't working at all, or only partially working, repeat these steps and try the next code in the list. Now, if that still isn't working, uh, keep doing this until you've exhausted all the codes. So if you still need more functions or your remote isn't working at all, the last option is to teach the one for all remote using your original remote or another working universal remote. Now mostly this is gonna be used to add some function that isn't working, like an app shortcut, for example. All right, so you'll wanna start off with the remotes kinda of head to head like this right here. Now I'm gonna press the device button that I wanna teach a function to, so we're just gonna use TV again in this example. 
Press and hold set up again till the light blinks twice. Now enter 975. 975. All right, ready to teach. So I'm just going to teach this red uh, channel shortcut button right here, just for example. Notice the quick flashing. Now I'm going to press the other button on the other remote. I just put Netflix on that red button right there. Now if I wanted to teach another button, just do the same thing. We'll use the green one. And then I'll just put volume up on that just for fun of it. All right, we'll use the yellow one for volume down. All right, that's about it. You can do this for as many buttons as you need to. When you're done teaching, just hit setup, hold it, and then your light flashes twice and it's ready to go. Okay, I wanted to show you about the volume lock. This is a very useful feature so that you're not flip-flopping back and forth to make small little volume adjustments. This will lock your volume to control your soundbar or whatever device you want. Now you'll want your audio device already set up and working for this. I didn't set mine up yet because the remote is already pre-programmed for a Yamaha receiver, so there's already one in there. All right, so hold down the setup button as you did before. We got our two blinks. Press 993. Now press the button that you want to lock the audio to. So we'll press audio. There we go. We got two blinks. Now, whenever we use our volume control, it should, like, see if we select TV, see that? It automatically says audio on volume. So now it automatically stays to volume no matter what device you're selected in. So real quick, you can program in channel shortcut macros using these four colored buttons right here. I'm not going to cover this in this video just for the sake of time, but the procedure is in the manual. I also wanted to quickly touch on these three app shortcut buttons right here. I mentioned these earlier that if they don't access your apps as expected right out of the gate, you can teach these using the learning function I showed you earlier or you can enter a macro sequence if there's a series of command that you need uh, to go through to reach your apps on your TV. Now in this example, I already have a Roku device programmed into the remote. Now I'm gonna press stream so that I can access the Roku TV app from my Roku streaming device. Now just press and hold the app shortcut key until we got two blanks, we did. Now I'm gonna press the keys in just as I would uh, to get to the app in question. So from home on my device, I'll press arrow right three times, two, three, arrow down once, and now okay. All right, once you see your app starting, go ahead and press and hold the app shortcut key to store the sequence, all right? Now this is just my example. That's how I get to my app on my Roku. So yours is gonna be different. You can also set up some different activities with these buttons up here, but I'm not going to cover this, but the procedure is in the manual. All right, that's about it, everybody. If you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll do my best to answer those. Thanks for watching.